こんにちは。はじめまして。ビセンニョ・ホセリートと申します。ジョイと呼んでください。フィリピンから来ました。よろしくお願いします。Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Kumusta po? Natuwa po ba kayo sa panimula ko? <laughs> o baka naman natawa? O kaya na nosebleed? Don't worry because in today's video, I'm going to teach you some basic Japanese self-introduction expressions that you can use whenever you meet a Japanese person for the first time or when you are given a chance to study in Japan or to work in a Japanese company either in Japan or in the Philippines or in any other countries or in case you meet a Japanese person and just to make connections so watch until the end of this video and you will learn how to introduce yourself in Japanese before we start you might want to take down notes so get your pens and your notebooks ready or you can just click the like save and the subscribe buttons of my channel so you can go back to this video again and practice and of course for familiarization are you ready let's start こんにちは。はじめまして。ビセニョ・ホセリートと申します。ジョイと呼んでください。フィリピンから来ました。よろしくお願いします。こんにちは。In my introduction, I used this expression to mean hello. However, you can also use こんにちは to mean Good afternoon or good day. Depending on when you are doing your self introduction, you can also use Ohayo gozaimasu to mean good morning or konbanwa when you are doing your self introduction in the evening. For me, I chose konnichiwa because I want it to be safe. Kumbaga, you can use it anytime. But Make sure that you pronounce this word correctly. Konnichiwa should be five syllables in the Japanese language, as in konnichiwa, or four syllables in English or in Filipino language, as in konnichiwa. Again, konnichiwa. Hajime maste. This Japanese expression doesn't have a direct or an exact translation in the English language. However, Japanese language course books use how do you do as an equivalent. Maybe because that's what we usually use when introducing ourselves in English. Hajime maste, from the verb hajimeru, which means to begin or to start, or Hajimete, which means first time. So basically, Hajime Mashte is an expression that you use when you meet a person for the first time. So Hajime Mashte is just like saying, this is the start of working with you or a start of a better relationship with you or simply, it's my first time meeting you. ビセンニョ・ホセリトと申します。I am ホセリト・ビセンニョ。Though you can also say、ワタシの名前は、ビセンニョ・ホセリトです。Or、My name is ホセリト・ビセンニョ。Or、ワタシは、ビセンニョ・ホセリトです。But I believe those expressions are usually used in academic、um, setups. I'm not saying that these expressions are wrong because Japanese people can understand if you use them. It's just that the expression I, I used, I believe, is a, a more formal way of stating your name or introducing your name as compared to the two other expressions that I mentioned. 
Joey to yonde kudasai. Please call me Joey. You can also say nickname wa Joey des or my nickname is Joey. But again, what I used is I believe more formal, but you still can use the latter. In Japanese workplaces, they they don't normally call um, their colleagues with their nicknames. But for me, since I am a guy kokujin or a foreigner working in Japan, and I believe that um, Japanese students and teachers have a hard time pronouncing my real name, I let them call me by my nickname. At school with the kids though, I sometimes hear them call their friends by their nicknames and gumagaya na din ako minsan. So let's have a quick sidetrack on the Japanese nicknames in the latter part of this video. Philippine Karakimashita. I'm from the Philippines. Here, I mentioned about the country where I come from because I did my self-introduction in Japan. Though you can also state the name of the city or town or province you're from plus your country. For example, Philippine no ilo so I'm from Ilocos province in the Philippines or maybe Filipino Pasig Karakimashta so I am from Pasig City Philippines if you're doing your self-introduction in the Philippines or in your own country it's okay not to mention your country name because obviously you're from that country you can just state your um, city name or town or province and definitely the person you're doing your self-introduction would understand you. So for example, Ilocos no Santa Karakimashita. I'm from the town of Santa in Ilocos Sur. Or Makati Karakimashita. I'm from Makati. Yoroshiku Again, this is not a um, direct translation or exact translation of pleased to meet you or nice to meet you. Just like Hajime Mashte I mentioned earlier, uh, maybe um, Japanese language course books use this ex um, these English expressions, uh, pleased to meet you or nice to meet you, because um, that is how we usually do our self-introduction in English. Literally, Yoroshiku Onegaishimas means please be kind to me or I'm counting on you or please help me to that effect. So let's review. Konnichiwa. Hello or good day, good afternoon. Hajimemashite. How do you do? Bisenyo Joserito to moshimasu. I am Joselito Bisenyo. Joey to yonde kudasai. Please call me Joey. Philippine Karakimashita. I'm from the Philippines. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Nice to meet you. Let's practice. Use your own name and your own address to complete the sentences. Are you ready? Konnichiwa. Hajimemashite. To moshimasu. To yonde kudasai. Karakimashita. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Now on your own. Great job! Now you're ready to introduce yourself in Japanese. So good luck in making friends with Japanese speakers. With this, I'm sure you might get the compliment Nihongo Jozu by any Japanese national. As I mentioned earlier, we're going to sidetrack to Japanese nicknames. 
Japanese nicknames can also be formed in several ways, just like um, the way Filipinos or Westerners uh, make nicknames or create nicknames. So today, I'm focusing on three common ways of how Japanese people uh, give nicknames. One way is combining their first name and their last name. So they don't use, like, they don't combine the, the full first name and then the full um, surname. So for example, do you know Takuya Kimura? So he is nicknamed Kimu Taku, Kimura Takuya. I, I'm sure you know Jun Matsumoto. He is nicknamed Matsu Jun, Matsumoto Jun, kaya siya Matsu Jun. Another way of forming a Japanese nickname is cutting short the first name or the surname. Parang shortened version. For example, Hiroaki Matsuda can be nicknamed Hiro or Matsu. I know someone named Matsuda. He is nicknamed Matsu. Sachiko can be nicknamed Sachi or Chiko. Ayane or Ayano is called Aya. For family members and close friends, they use the shortened first name or surname and they add the suffix chan or kun. Take Shin-chan for example from the famous uh, Japanese anime and Japanese manga. Shin-chan's real name is Shinnosuke. So he is called Shin-chan. Kotoha an elementary school girl is nicknamed Kotchan. My son, Shinichi, is affectionately called Shinkun at his nursery school. So Shinkun na din tawag namin minsan. And idagdag ko na din. So I used to teach um, beginner Japanese language and culture back in the Philippines. Uh, yun, hello sa mga Nihongo students ko before. They called me Bisense or Sir Bisense from my surname Bisenyo and Sensei, the honorific title for teachers. So, Bisense, Sir Bisense. Others are nicknamed based on a different reading of the kanji of their name or just a word to describe the personality of a person. For our question time, if you could have a Japanese nickname, what could it be and why? Share your answers in the comment section below. So that's it for today's episode. I'll see you again next time. Adios. Thank you.